sensors we need a property going this will make it switch between our two and it's just this is the way I do it and I I like the way I do it it's pretty efficient so we're just gonna name it anim and you can name it hamburger if you want to it's just um, so we know the property we know zero is we're gonna make zero stand one is our um, Actually, we're going to make one stand, two is left step, right step, that kind of thing. So we're going to set it to one. And this is going to be when anim equals one, it's going to stand. So let's just make that out. Um, when anim equals value of two, and let's make the third one very quick. Um, let me copy this over. Three. So, wow, this mouse is messed up. Give it a sec, sorry. There it goes. All right. Now do the same for anim three, and we're connecting that here, and then let's put in our right step. I think I just called it right. Uh, nope. Right step. No. Nope. Sorry, guys. Right step. All right, that's correct. Did I spell it wrong? Oh, I forgot the T. Sorry about that. Um. Right step left step all right good so this won't animate anything but let's switch these to our second layer by pressing M two on your keyboard and that will put it here so it's just out of the way and if you want to look over it stands that's our uh, right step or left step and then that's our so it works our system is working now just time to make it cycle through the animation is um, the key to it so we're gonna do another IPO um, on here this is on our cube this is our bounds and we are going to name it frame and like I said you can name it french fries anything you want um, oop, my mouse is uh, freaking out again go to IPO and in frame prop we can assign a property name and that will be our frame so let's set this to one because an animation doesn't go on a zero frame and make sure it's uh, interval so we're going to set it two to three because those are our steps and connect it to these our movement actuators and then do true pulse always so if we switch the keys it doesn't miss the animation and that can happen so this is going to loop um, and since it's only two frames it's not complicated if you want to do loop stop for more complicated then that's fine and then we'll do a another keyboard but this time uh oh sorry yep the mouse I just what is going on? Okay. Keyboard. Nope. Delay. Yep. Keyboard. We're going to set it all keys. But we are going to do. You can do um, A and D, but the important trick is here is invert. So this is when we're not pressing any keys. It is going to make the animation. Um, I like to do flipper. And this is going to make it so when you're not pressing any keys. It's not going to animate. So uh, now we just have to make um, our um, anim property copy the frame property. And we do that by doing property here, copy. And then this is where we say the property on this object, anim, is going to copy frame from object cube. 
dot zero zero one and if you want to name that bounds or whatever that's fine and then we're gonna do a true pulse so it's always copying we don't want it just to copy on the start and then look our character's walking but I messed up it's not going back to stand and for one reason we need to set this to three to four and when this is equal to three and then this is equal to four it's going to play those frames and the problem is on a flipper you can't have one to one so we're gonna do one to two and then when we're not pressing the key it's going to flip back to one so it does the stand and if that works oh we need to do assign it to frame and now it's working so he does his little step animation and uh, then he goes back to standing so you can do anything with this you can add as many frames as you want it's less efficient as the more frames you add it's just how my logic system works so uh, you can script this ten times better of course I have a better scripted system that replaces the mesh inside a script so I can have unlimited frames and anything and it's just very nice but this is how I do it with logic to help you guys so he stares back and forth he does his step if um, you want to add a jump this is the best way to do a jump I think if you don't want to get complicated in code we're going to do our bounds because that's our physics object I'm gonna do W since I'm already on the WSAD uh, configuration then connect that to a motion we're doing line V again but uh, let's see I think that's the axis I'm gonna set it to 5 just uh, make sure and then do a ray and this ray is going to go in the negative z direction towards the ground and we will define ground as the property ground so we're going to set this box to ground so it knows it's above ground and then uh, let me just tool with the range to make sure it's correct and there we go it's uh, a little off Let's see. Too low. Too low. There we go. It's a little off. Um, if you want to be perfect, be perfect. And there we go. So now, and we are going to have to fix this because um, line V is a different system, and it's actually moving the object unlike lock which is um, picking a position in the future and uh, running it so we're going to have to switch these to add and that's the higher value so we're gonna bring these back to I'm, I'm gonna say 0.5 um, and that might be too fast and add cuz they'll interfere with each other yep way too fast but now we can have a jump and we can move and it's very nice so we're just going to set this to 2. I think this will be better. And then our height. We're going to set it to add. And with the add system, if you want to do like a Mario Bros. Yeah, it gets higher on the second jump kind of thing. Uh, it works just like that uh, physically. So it's nice. I think I can still go a little lower can't go to 35 so let's try 36 yep too low so 37 is our best bet for this jump and remember W we have a ray sensor to the ground we've uh, defined on the negative z-axis and then a range and then to a line V motion actuator, actuator with local and add so now he jumps we can scurry around if you want to add a jump animation it's the same concept as um, before we we just need to add a ray uh, this ray to these so it only plays the animation when you're on the ground so let's try that right now now the animation doesn't play but um, that's just cuz it's messed up in that sense and yeah so now you have this easy system we're gonna do a simple idle animation and that will be done by changing this to flipper to play and then that's just gonna play the animation back and forth so let me draw it real quick 
Um, I'm just gonna make him bob up and down. Really simple. Save it. I'm gonna save it as four. And then change to this our flipper one to two to um, I'm gonna say loop stop because it doesn't matter that much um, to play the whole animation since it's only two frames and our one to two we have to say what our um, two frame is since we skipped to three so I'm just gonna put another property down called uh, the prop is anim if that's what you chose and value two and I'm just going to do the same concept. I have to make another frame. Um, that's the bobbing animation. That's our four. Selected. Uh, it's a edit object replace mesh. And then I didn't name it. Sorry. Go back. This will be stand two. <laughs> and then, since it's already defined, this is copying. That's all we have to do. And now he goes up and down very quick. So let's change that. And we're going to do true pulse, but we're going to set how fast the frame switches. And that was unsuccessful. Ping pong. That's right. Now he goes up and down at our own pace. We can set it to zero and he can be going. Um, oh. Oh, he's too fast for the camera, sorry. And then he's going super fast. We can set it to one second between each, which is very slow. And I think 15 looked good. So now that doesn't play until we are standing. And our scurrying run animation is going. Uh, we can turn back and forth. We can jump. And it act that idle animation actually looks good with the jump if you play it correctly. So, And then we're just bobbing up and down and we can run. We can do a platform test. Line V works just great because you can't go through walls like um, lock can. So we can just run around. We can jump. We're good. And that's the basics of it. If you want to add anything more, a wall grab a wall jump it's the same concept just make sure your motions are the same uh, for what you want yeah mm. so if we want to do like a little parkour thing let me uh, make a little course we'll do a slide at the end Sorry, my mouse is not good with the screen recorder. And a little platform. Let's, since we don't have a camera, let me full screen this. Oh no, he can't jump high enough, sorry. Um, I'll just double it for testing purposes. And problem, since that's angled and I set this so close to its minimum value, it's going to have trouble on angled objects. So, there we go. Can he climb? Probably, but we don't care. So, goes down. We can jump now. And he's gone. And especially... Like if you want to adjust the gravity since he's a smaller object, make it heavier so he falls faster, that kind of thing, go for it. And that's the basics of animating movement on a small little 2D sprite. And thanks for watching, hope this helped you, make sure you subscribe, and 